those of y'all that like to do people wrong, mistreat people wrong, lead people on, um, pretend that you like people, pretend that you're going to get back with people, pretend like anything that you not, pretend that you're better than someone, those that y'all thinking that y'all going to get a blessing, that God going to bless y'all because y'all treat people wrong or mislead people or lie to people, like, don't lie to me if you don't like me like that. Don't like me if you're not going to give me another chance <clears throat> to work my differences out. Don't forgive me about nothing if you're not going to give me a chance to work my differences out. Don't call my phone. Don't try to use me because you need me for my money or you down on gas or you down on this or you down on rent. Don't expect it because you let me lay my head on your couch for a couple of days that I'm supposed to help you out. You pretended like you had nothing to do with me. You pretended like I was the worst dude to ever messed around with you. Y'all that's out there misleading people and hurting people and mistreating people, count y'all days. Because God ain't happy about ugly and he ain't crazy about pretty. And trust me, you know, don't like y'all people either that just sitting there praising God and then turn around doing the devil's work. You can't, you gotta pick a side. You can't just be saying, oh, I'm team God, I'm team God, and then doing government things. You can't be out there trying to look for love in all the wrong places. You can't be, oh, I'm going to talk to him, but then I'm going to sneak to talk to him. And I'm going to use him for his money, but I want to give all my heart and soul for this dude. You can't be doing that. You can't be, oh, I got two baby daddies, or two possibly baby daddies, but you already know who the main baby daddy is. Meanwhile, in between time, you at the doctor office trying to pretend like you don't know who you slept with on which date or what day. And on top of that, Y'all females be lying about the most simplest things. How the fuck is you married to somebody? Yeah, y'all might be separated, but you got a whole man in your house. You say you don't want to be with that man. You say you don't have no feelings, no care, no desire, but you're giving him the whole husband to you. I don't care what nobody say, how you lay it out, you say it. God, he probably... Like, let you go through a lot of things. Some things to wake you up. Some things that he might not just have all the way control of it. Just because he don't have all the way of the control of it, he put the desires in your heart to know when the difference is right, is wrong, when you should stop, when you should give up. You know, he put all these desires in our heart. But just let you know, God know who to bless and who not to bless. You know, some of y'all might be thinking just because y'all doing people wrong and God can't stop much. Yeah, he give you a choice to be good. He give you a choice to be bad. But at the end of the day, regardless what side of the end of the fence you on, that's where the end of the fence of your blessing will be. So best believe, if you keep on doing people wrong, it won't last too long. So pick what side of the end of the uh, gate you want to be on. Watch how God removes the things out of your life. Remove the good people that's in your life helping you out. He'll move it out of your life. It might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow. But y'all going to get y'all day. Best believe, just like you treated somebody wrong, somebody going to treat you wrong. Well, our Kelly said on that Sparky video, you better be careful what you say to me. Because <laughs> somebody might do it to you. 